I'm not sure if you're aware, but there's a story that's gone out. I believe it's in the Times newspaper. And the headline or the gist of the story is that Tony Cascarino has said, Mohamed Salah's dive was an insult to Nobby Styles and the game that he loved. Now, there's a couple of ways to approach this. I don't know Mr. Cascarino personally, and it's not my job to come in here and go in two-footed to somebody. But that, to me, screams everything that is wrong with the level of punditry that we're currently getting right now with the old stock. Tony Cascarino, look, who is he to be casting shade on anybody? I mean, his credentials to play for my beautiful country were, let's just say, uh, stretched at best. But let, let's keep let's keep it on this. Tony Cascarino saying that Nobby Styles would... It's an insult to Nobby Styles. excuse me. Let's first of all get with the start of this. It was not a dive, Cascarino. His foot was kicked. So many times, Mohamed Salah has not gone to ground and will get nothing for it. This time, his foot was kicked. Like numerous other incidents that you're going to see week in and week out in the Premier League. Incidents that referees have given penalties for. This was given. Now, to bring up somebody who sadly passed away and drag them into this argument is nothing short of disgusting as far as I'm concerned. I have no allegiance to Nobby Styles. Obviously, I'm, I'm from Ireland, but I respect the man. I respect the man's history, what he's won in the sport, winning the World Cup with England, and may he rest in peace. To drag that man into the conversation is disgusting. But that's before we even get to what I think, and this is just my opinion, are the real undertones of this conversation. And it's about Johnny Foreigners, to use a better phrase, or for want of a better phrase. Harry Kane did what Harry Kane did in his game yesterday. He backed into Adam Lallana. And that's clever, apparently. That's gamesmanship because it's Sir Harold of Tottenham. But when Johnny Foreigner goes and does anything, heaven forbid, we all know that there's a little bit of xenophobia in those comments. We all know that there's a little bit of racial bias in there, whether intended or whether subconscious. The facts are that it is disgusting, that the Times should have pulled the article, and that Tony Cascarino should hang his head in shame. And I'm not just saying this because it's Mo Salah. I'm sure if this was a player, if this was Cavani, you'd see it on, on another channel, or if it was a Leicester player, you'd see it in a Leicester channel. This is nothing short of disgusting from somebody who, let's let's be honest about it, my six-year-old, my eight-year-old, excuse me, probably has more common sense to speak about the sport of Cascarino. You're a shy player, mate. You're a shy pundit. And to drag up that level of disrespect towards somebody who has sadly passed and to throw that much shade on Mohamed Salah, who's done what every other player has done to gain penalties when they've got a kick on their foot this season. And then he says that it was... It, it, I cannot tell you how much this stuff annoys me, ladies and gentlemen, because we all know that there's two different two different arguments in the media. Harry Kane does something, or an English based player does something. It's clever. It's gamesmanship. He's won a penalty there. If a foreign player does it, a lot of the time the feeling's a little bit different, isn't it? If we're honest with ourselves, the feeling out there in some of the media is a little bit different. That oh, he gained an advantage. He cheated his way there. He dove there. This needs to stop. We need to nip this in the bud right now. Mohamed Salah is one of the most respectful, loyal, responsible human beings on the face of the planet. And to have that thrown at him by somebody who is not fit to lace the man's boots is disgusting. I'm ashamed of somebody who has represented my country. I'm ashamed at those comments. I'm ashamed that Mohamed Salah has to deal with this crap from what was a blatant penalty. When week in and week out, we see him stay on his feet when he's been tugged and kicked. I'm ashamed, ladies and gentlemen. I really am. I was hoping, in a time where we're fighting for equality in in, in sport and in society, these level of comments that Mr. Cascarino has put out there, are, it's just unacceptable. They're, they're of a different age where they weren't acceptable before, but they certainly aren't acceptable in today's day and age. Mr. Cascarino would want to put out a severe apology about this, as would the Times or whoever published this article, because it's nothing short of disrespectful to both Nobby Styles and Nobby Styles' family, and of course, Mohamed Salah as well. Absolute... I'm going to bite my tongue. I'm going to bite my tongue at that, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't want to be the old ranting and raving Craig. I've had my say on it. You can read it yourselves. You can you can form your own opinions. That's what I love about this. We, we are here for a conversation around differing opinions, but that to me is, doesn't belong in the game anymore. That's dinosaur stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's the stuff that gets should get people fired in this day and age. I've said a lot of stupid stuff, and I'll probably continue to say a lot of stupid stuff. But to start dragging in, I said racial undertones. Now, I'm not accusing Tony Cascarino of being racist. Let me make that very clear. Sometimes, this is a subconscious bias. He may not even have realised what he was saying. He may not even realise the differential between, you know, Johnny Foreigner coming in and doing this and an English player doing it and match of the day and the lights coming out and saying, oh, clever. 
Let's look at the incident with, with, with Adam Nolan and Harry Kane, shall we? Only one of those players had eyes for the football. Only one. And that was Adam Lallana. Adam Lallana jumped up into the air. And as he was doing so, Sir Harold of Tottenham looks over his shoulder, backs into him, as he's done before, by the way, and gets himself a penalty and is lauded for it in the media when it was nothing but blatant cheating. You know it and I know it. But that's okay. It's gamesmanship. It's cheating. He gets away with it. Why does he get away with it? Because he's English. That's why he gets away with it. Now, to be fair, a lot of other clubs' fans are coming out and calling Harry Kane out for that. Because it was a joke. It should have been a free out, in my opinion, rather than a penalty kick. Look, let me get over to you guys and see how you're feeling about this. Because I could continue ranting about this type of stuff for a very long time. But you know what? I, I want to be in a good mood. I want to be happy. Um, What have we got? Kane is next in the yes. I said, Tony seems like a right... Never heard of the bloke before. Um, he represented Ireland, mate. He played, I think, for Marseille. He played for a couple of lower league clubs. I think he played for, I don't know, Wigan or some Aston Villa. I can't remember what clubs. That's how irrelevant he was. And the fact that he's still being given a platform to voice his irrelevant opinions baffles me. Um, what else have we got? Every player will dive, but Salah did not dive in that game, said Evan. Absolutely not, mate. He had the bottom of his foot kicked as clear as day. And I don't know what any of the argument is about. It was a blatant penalty. Um, yeah, I just don't see it. I just don't understand what this argument is about with regards to that penalty incident. Even the manager, Mohamed Salah, have had a conversation around it, apparently. Uh, Brian said, that's the classic Kane manoeuvre. John O'Neill said, hi Craig, how are you today? I'm very good, thank you John. All the better for seeing you in, my friend. I hope you're well. Is Johnny Foreign our, our new centre-back? <laughs> no, mate, not quite yet. We're in negotiations, but uh, not quite yet. What Kane did is illegal in rugby, said Tyler. Yes, it is, mate. Because if a player's going up into the air to get the ball, he basically took his legs out from underneath him and Adam Lalana fell landing on his back and shoulders, which could have caused him serious injury. But no, what happens? El Cano gets himself a penalty. Of course he does. Uh, Thiago will destroy Kevin De Bruyne. We'll get to all that, mate. You're, you're obsessed with people destroying people, aren't you? I was reading your comments before the stream, X Ruthless, and you were saying, we don't want this Ajax player because Mane destroyed him. We don't want the Leipzig player because Rashford destroyed him. Oh, I hate to break the news to you, pal, but people have bad games every now and again. It doesn't make them a bad defender. Just because it's the first time you've seen these lads play doesn't mean that they're terrible defenders, mate. They're young defenders making their way in the sport. They'll all have poor games from time to time, particularly when they're up against really good players like Rashford and Sadio Mane. So I don't like that we're just calling players terrible, saying they were ended, saying their careers were thrown away just because one lad went past them. I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. You need to just get your shit, get your shit together, mate, honestly. Uh, 